Hey man, Jesse Shredder, I don't know where you at, but you're late. You're gone, you missed it. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jesse Shredder and I post a wide variety of content including vegan food and bodybuilding supplement reviews, tech and geeky collectible type of things, wrestling content, unboxings. Today I'm gonna to be recording episode two of a new series that I started a few months ago. This is Talking Shades. Before we get started with today's video, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. So as I mentioned in my last video, I just moved and I've been sick. So I've been stuck in a new place for a little over a week now and I'm starting to get really bored, but I'm still super congested. So I just don't want to do too much. I thought something that would be pretty fun to do would be to unbox my sunglass collection so I could display them back on here like I had them in my old place. So I'm gonna open up my cabinet. So I have all my sunglasses in this cabinet right here. Multiple pairs of Ray-Bans and quite a few pairs of Oakley. So I definitely have more in there, but I'm gonna start with these. I'm gonna start with the Ray-Bans. Actually, hold on. I do have another pair of Ray-Bans in here, I believe. All right, so this is one of my newest pairs of Ray-Bans and probably my favorite pair. These right here are the new Wayfair with the silver mirrored lens, and these are definitely one of my favorites. Like, check these out. I love these. So... Ooh, that was close. So I have those. And then let me open up this. Let's see. Show you what's in here. And let me wipe these off real quick. So then. And I also have the new Wayfarers with the blue mirrored lens, which these are also sick. When I first saw Wayfarers, I didn't think that they would be the right frame for me, but I really like the way that they fit me. And I believe these are going to be the Justins, which are super dusty. All right, so yeah, these are the Justins, which do look similar to the Wayfarers with also the same blue mirrored lens. And I also like the way that these look too. These are more square. These kind of got scratched up. So these are my three main pair of Ray-Bans, which I really love these. So let me put these up here. And the silver Wayfarer. And I do have so now I have a pair of Oakley Holbrooks right here. This is my favorite lens. What you see through this lens is amazing, but they're kind of getting scratched up a little bit. So this was my first pair of real authentic Oakleys that I received as a gift for joining the Oakley team. I think back in 2017. To date, this is one of my favorite styles. I love this square style. Um, and then this lens is my favorite lens. I don't know that this is necessarily my favorite frame, but this is definitely my favorite lens and this is definitely one of my top favorite styles of frames, just not my number one, I don't think, but I do love these frames. So this is the Holbrook with the prism lens. I'm gonna show you guys another Holbrook, which I actually like even better than these. This one is the Holbrook mix and you can see it's the same style frame except the sides are metal and it has that gold side like these are awesome 
I mean, they look almost identical from the front. This is definitely one of my favorites. Like those just look so clean. All right, so I have the Holbrooks. Even the little bezels here are really cool or whatever you want to call them. Place that right here. I guess another one that kind of goes with the Holbrook mix. This one comes in a very masculine pink case. I have some prism frog skins, which also have a gold temple, but on this one, it has the full Oakley logo on the side, as opposed to this one, which just has the Oakley symbol. I don't love the way frog skins fit me, but I just love this frame. They're not bad though. Almost similar to the Wayfair, the way they have that point on the top. But both of these styles are really classic Oakley style frames and they've been around forever. So, all right, now I'm going to show you a style which can be described as a disruptor. And in Oakley sunglass terms, a disruptor means if I was to wear these walking down the street, people would turn their heads because it just disrupts traffic. These are the Oakley crystal satin chrome. I absolutely love these. To me, these just scream luxury AF. Like, they're just sick. The crystals are part of a collection that I believe came out in 2019. Which is probably my favorite Oakley collection ever, and it's called the Iris Collection. I love all the frames from there and I have quite a few and I would like to get all of them at some point. What really separates the frames in the Iris collection from other frames is these two pieces right here. So these two pieces right here are singular elements that are holding the whole frame together. Sometimes they'll be referred to as bezels, notches, but essentially these are the support of the entire frame. The way that the entire frame is put together in the Iris collection is just next level. It's never really been seen before. That's one of the biggest reasons I absolutely love the Irish collection. And I also love the chrome brow bar on the top. So this metal piece going across the top of the frame is typically referred to as a brow bar. A brow bar is the top bar that runs across the bridge between the two lenses. What it does is it adds extra support and it also accommodates certain face shapes really well. In the case of the crystal, Oakley refers to this as a roll bar, and I really like that they call it a roll bar because I feel like it just makes it sound really fancy, and that's what you're really getting with these glasses. You're getting a luxury style frame, which I think that just really takes this frame over the top. So these are definitely one of my favorite styles. Since I'm showing you the, this pair from the Iris collection, I'm going to show you another pair, which can only be described as Harry Potter meets the Flash. These are just cool. I don't know if I would ever wear these. These are definitely disruptors, but this is just a piece that you want to have in your collection because it's just so unique. All right, so here we go. Check these out. Look at this. Like these are just so unique. What's really cool about these, which really caught my attention was the side. It has that lightning bolt feel to it. You have the rounded Harry Potter like frames and then it has these little pieces at the top that are holding the frame together. Overall, just a really sick frame. I think these are so cool. Again, I don't know if I would ever wear these. Clearly they're not sunglasses, but they do provide blue light protection. So these are pretty cool frames. I just love, I just absolutely love these cause I'm a big fan of Harry Potter and the Flash. So I had to have these. Um, so yeah, I have my two pieces from the Iris collection, the crystal and, oh yeah, these, I don't think I even s said what these are called. These are the deadbolt. So I have the deadbolt and the crystal, two of my favorite Oakley styles ever. Now this is another style that I haven't worn yet, 
But what I really like about this next frame is that it has some really cool Oakley technology embedded into it. So this right here is called the Anorak. It has a really awesome sapphire prism lens. And what, what I love about this frame so much is that there's this yellow button right in the middle. So you know how you go into your car and when you get out, your glasses fog up? Well, when that happens with these, you just press this down and the nose piece lifts away from the frame and it defogs the whole lens. Like, how freaking cool is that? Here, I'll show you from this, this side. Oh, hold on. Like, how cool is that? This is why I absolutely love Oakley's and they're my favorite brand for sunglasses because their technologies are just next level. So that was the Anorak. What else do I have? I think that's it for here. And then I have, oh God. Okay, so I have another pair of Ray-Bans. These are aviators. I don't love these aviators on me, but I got these on clearance for like nothing. So I had to buy them because aviators are just classic and fun fact about aviators if you're not familiar with aviators aviators is the one style of frame that fits every face shape so if you're not sure which style of frame to buy for your face shape whatever face shape that it is it's always going to be a safe bet to just go with an aviator my face shape it, which is kind of hard to tell with my beard is actually oval you got to figure out your face shape and that's how you buy your frames now these in here are just the, uh, oh, I have a few in here. So I have these in here, which are not really great glasses, but these were one of my favorite styles. Um, these were one of my favorite styles of glasses to wear in my teenage years, and they're actually stretched out pretty bad from my ex-girlfriend's brother. But these are the Rockaware frames, and they just don't sit on my face good anymore. Actually, to be honest, I don't even love the, the way they look on me now, but I used to when I had longer hair. But yeah, these are the Rockaware. Not very expensive. I think I got these from TJ Maxx, but I always liked these. Maybe not so much anymore. What else do I have? Then I have a couple pairs of blue light frames which I had got I had got like a bunch of these at one point for really cheap and I started flipping them but now they're like pretty much everywhere another pair of frames that I had got from TJ Maxx back in the day these are Steve Madden's don't love these I don't know what I was thinking but I think I was just going for brand names at the time and then <laughs> these are just cool these are Miami heat glasses which is just a cool thing to have. It comes with this Miami Heat bag and this microfiber cloth case. So these are kind of cool just to have in the collection. Oh, what else do I have? Oh, gosh. This is a really stupid setup the way I have this. I don't even know what's in here. Oh, I forgot. I have another pair of Oakleys. So these are the turbine which these are a little big for my face. I had got these as, as a gift. I really like the way these look. I just wish they fit my face a little bit better. But I love the ruby red lens. Let's see what else do I have. Is this another? Okay, so I have another Miami Heat pair. Let's see what's in here. So these I had got from um, Marshalls, and this is a pair of Ray-Bans. To be honest, these kind of look very, a little feminine. When I saw these at the price that I saw them, I was like, I'm just gonna buy them just because they're Ray-Bans, and I thought they were cool to add to my collection. There is another style that's similar to this that I do want that is more masculine, so. But yeah, these are some Ray-Bans, like an aviator style. And finally, I got the D&Gs. So I bought these in my 
mid-twenties when I thought I was cool. Oh God, not the oaks. And um, right after I bought these frames, Soldier Boy came out. He was wearing these same ones and it kind of killed it for me. Because you probably see Soldier Boy wearing these back in the day, but he wrote his name all over these. I thought these were cool back in the day. They're all right. I just don't really like white frames on me. But at that time I did. Let's see, is there anything else? Um, I think that's about it. I have one pair in here, which I purchased a while back that I've never opened. These are crazy, so you're not gonna wanna miss this video. But I guess that's it for now. Those are pretty much most of my frames. I don't know if I have any. I might have another pair in the car, I can't remember. But, so in case you didn't know, I am an expert on sunglass technologies and brand history so if you guys have any questions let me know that's one of the things that I do for work is that I work with sunglasses anyway if you like this video go ahead and bop that like button comment down below and as always I'll see you guys next time peace